jobs include information technology, leader, mentor, teacher, solutionist, manager, and coach. His spouse is Holly. His children are Mather, Ty, and Ethan. His pet is Gypsy Dash Cujo, which I haven't heard before. I've only known him as Gypsy. Uh, hobbies and interests. Act actively being a husband, nature walks, driving trips, and other travel. He's lived in Murrieta for two years. His burning desire is to remind people how to fish for themselves and use their tools better. Something here no one knows about him. He is a shy extrovert by nature, but you can ask him about hitchhiking Western Europe for nine months, eating strange foods in Asia, or setting the night on fire. And his keys to success, only accepting a critique after he has critiqued his critic, choosing to be optimistic about what comes next. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Quinn. go. Uh, some of you may or may not be following me on Instagram, but I'm putting up little quips in, uh, up there from time to time, and if you want me to send that to you, by all means, please do so. But yes, I actually have really lit up the sky on fire. I uh, uh, trained pyrotechnic in Arizona, and for three years, I've sent more than thousands of those up into the sky using just a street flare. Um, and then, of course, I missed it so much, so a few year, a year or so ago, I decided to uh, put out a fire in my backyard with a garden hose. <laughs> Life happens, uh, but one of the things is you clean up your own messes as those things happen. <clears throat> and, well, who am I? There's been various versions of me throughout the years. This little guy pulled an infant out of a streaming water after rainfall. Um, yes, I did have hair at one point in time. I did think I was goose to my brother's maverick. <laughs> this is what I looked like as I hitchhiked around Europe for nine months, and I did that with only $500 in my pocket. Wow. This guy tried to sell me some later hosen, but I just wasn't quite into that look. Um, and then, you know, here I am now just kind of uh, making it through at this point in this version of me. <laughs> I am her husband, and oddly enough, I showed up as for our very first date looking like a Wookiee, and somehow she eventually married me on a beach in Hawaii, and still for some reason makes me feel like I'm her trophy husband, so I think that's pretty awesome, so thank you for that, my love. Uh, um, these are my parents. So my dad is a very analytic, analytical person. Um, came from Philadelphia, so my dry sarcasm comes from him. Um, uh, my, uh, he was in Vietnam. My mom actually was born in Germany uh, prior to uh, uh, World War II and had been bombed out of several houses, um, even shot at by American um, airplanes uh, as traveling from one town to the next. She's also an artist, and I'm thankful for him for giving me my analytical skills and her for helping me see the beauty after the darkness that happens in life, which I think helps me a lot in what I do with my coaching. So, mom and dad. Uh, and as mentioned, these are my boys. Um, my oldest, uh, Mather, uh, wearing red. Um, uh, Ty, uh, on my left, uh, is currently away in school. You all met him a few weeks back. And Ethan, when I asked him to jump into this Vato's um, car, he was more than nervous as the guy says, jump in, have a good time. And he's thinking he's going to get in trouble from this guy. But the guy looked just like this that was hanging from his, uh, 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 hanging from his thing. And uh, I said, Ethan, let me get a picture real quick. And he likes his blue hair. So, all right. And I'm an only child. But these are my siblings. Kind of odd, right? So my mom and dad, I'm their only child together. This is uh, my mom's first two sets of kids, my older brother and sister, Karin and Mark. And then this is my dad's first child and his grandchild, um, Anita. And so, yes, I'm the youngest. I'm the only child, but I'm a sibling. Hmm. I like how that works. <laughs> uh, so some of the things that I am is I'm a constant learner. I do believe that, you know, if you stop learning, you start dying. It's one of those things where your brain will atrophy if you don't put work into it. So as I had been um, putting in the work to become a, a, a professional life coach, these are um, my co-students and the Zoom training sessions that we were doing as we would do life coaching for each other as we were um, being trained how to do this at UC Davis. Uh, 
I am a teacher by nature. Uh, one of the things that I really love doing is teaching kids how to drive. So just before he turned 14, I started throwing him in my Jeep, taking him off into the hills of Murrieta and Menifee and uh, letting him stay on the road. And he's been doing a really good job with that. Uh, my oldest son, we do Mario Kart usually uh, uh, at the video games. And I'm constantly trying to teach Ty something new, but you know, he's 20 years old and at this point in time, he knows everything. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard canvas to get into. <laughs> Um, but every so often he does let me. So here's me helping him uh, put on a tie or tie 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 tying a tie um, as we were uh, um, working on an uh, opportunity for a prom. Uh, him getting his eagle uh, for through Boy Scouts, and then part of his project where I'm mentoring uh, his friends, uh, putting doing some woodwork and getting things together. So I'm always trying to mentor people. And I'm a world traveler, as was mentioned. Uh, there's crossing the street in, in, in uh, Tokyo or uh, looking for directions in, uh, in the Czech Republic or in a salt mine in, in Poland, uh, jumping on the, uh, the bullet train in Japan or dodging jeepneys in the Philippines. If you've ever seen these things, they're pretty dang cool, but wow, uh, watch out for those things. And even spending a Chinese New Year in Malaysia and anywhere else that I can get to, I will go. Um, I'm a bridge builder. Uh, this happens a lot when uh, working with my, uh, my peers uh, in international companies. I would end up uh, being on conference calls between the Philippines and um, the Czech Republic. Oops. The Czech Republic. And a lot of times end up being an English to English translator. It's very interesting when you discover that uh, people that learn English in one country don't use the same vocabulary as people that learn English in another country. And so somebody says something and I end up having to translate it on the other end of, oh, this is what he means, being the American and knowing all of the television shows that they watched over there and they watched over there, I could make those bridging. What I find very interesting is that we have the same problem in the U.S. <laughs> I end up doing that a lot as a, as a coach with other people who go, no, 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 this is what they meant to say. Anyway. Um, so hit that, hit that. And then I'm a solutionist. And my wife says, why are you putting food on this as a solution? <laughs> Isn't food the best place to solve most problems? Getting across the table from somebody and start eating something. So we've got healthy, a healthy breakfast in Japan over here. Um, we've got uh, dim sum in Malaysia. This is actually uh, at a 7-Eleven where you can get all kinds of healthy snacks right there um, in, in Tokyo. Uh, some uh, something or other in Poland, but it was delicious. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, a breakfast buffet at a, at a uh, um, in the Philippines, and this was probably the coolest crepe making that I saw in Malaysia. So I was like, oh, I got to figure out how to do that one. That one's pretty cool. Um, and then <laughs> I'm flawed. I have my mistakes, and I think one of the biggest things about being a, uh, a person uh, that loves to speed, um, yeah, Laura won't let me drive her husband around anymore since the last 134 mile an hour uh, ex exhibition of speed. Uh, we have no police in this group? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> but owning your mistakes, owning your flaws, and uh, I think is, is, for me, one of my other keys to success is I'm, I'm very aware of my flaws and I own them, they're mine, they're what make me me. And so if you can own your flaws, they definitely help you um, throughout life. And I strive to help those people that are in my life and guess who that is? All of you. If I haven't had a chance to help you guys just yet, eventually I hope to and I will. I've got my friends and my family that are in here. Uh, some of you may recognize yourselves. Oh, oh, oh yep, that, there's that one again. And. I'm always working to continue, continuously enhance the people that are in my lives. These are some of my oldest friends that are in here that didn't make the cut in other parts of the slide deck. Uh, friends in Germany, uh, family members in Florida and in Arizona, and then just I like a family photo where <laughs> the only person to notice what was about to happen to him is my son. <laughs> it's like, no, no, don't poop on me. <laughs> um, but. You know, throughout everything, I'm a life coach, and I'll leave this up here for a, a few seconds, is I'm here to help people be better. And so if I can have the opportunity to work with you, help you out, add me to your calendar, BNI meetings here, 
coaching over there and it'll open up into calendar and let's link something and get together at that point. Thank you everybody.